In this video, I'll let you know if going to the new Thunder Ridge Nature Arena is worth it, and I'll give you some very valuable tips if you decide to go. Here's the good, the bad, and the ugly. So if you haven't heard already, the Garth Brooks concert at the Thunder Ridge Nature Arena had some uh, serious logistical problems. Uh, and to be clear, this is not a review of Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks does not need a review. He is awesome. And I'll get you back to some music here in a second. Uh, this is a little different video than I normally make on our travel adventure channel. Uh, but I did travel to my hometown of Springfield and then past Branson. The air show was definitely an adventure. It falls under the good. I feel bad for the people that missed it. Heck, I talked to some people that missed the whole concert because parking was so backed up. Parking definitely falls under the ugly. So I normally have two GoPros going, a Sony mirrorless and a drone, but I didn't know I was gonna make a video of this crazy event. Uh, I decided to make one because I figured I could help some people out with a review. And I shot this whole thing on an iPhone 10, so I think it, I think it turned out all right. Well, that reminds me, our next batch of videos is from a big road trip we took to Florida with our Jeep and teardrop camper. If you know us, you know we didn't go to Disney World. We went scuba diving through caves, snorkeling with manatees, bike riding, hiking, scallop hunting. and stayed at Jenny Springs. There we floated past some alligators and did some cool snorkeling through the springs. Oh, and of course we camped all over and made some seriously good food. Make sure to subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss those. Okay, on to the review. So I took my mom and sister to this concert and we got to experience all these problems firsthand. Uh, and I'm gonna show you the good the bad and the ugly. So the ugly. The concert started at 7 and we arrived at 3.30. The line to get in off the highway was probably four or five miles long, I don't know. We had the only off-site parking lot which was at the fruit farm and was on the other side of the highway so we got to skip that whole line. But more ugly? It cost $49 to park there and you have to buy it online ahead of time. Another valuable tip is if you're driving, you could probably just drive around the whole line and go to the stoplight and turn left and then turn around to go straight through it. You can skip the whole line that way, but that's probably uh, cheating, but it will get you through. So the fruit lot parking is faster, but still not great. The good, you can tailgate. The bad, no grills or cooking and the Dust was horrendous. The good, you get to ride a bus over. The bad, you have to wait in a long line to get on it. So even though you get to ride a bus, once you're dropped off, the walk is still fairly far. If you have a hard time walking, you're not gonna like this. Uh, but if you don't mind walking, the arena itself is awesome. It's up on top of a hill and has an incredible view. This is a uh, crazy here. This is super fun. Branson, baby.
So I think they have a lot to work out logistically, but uh, it's a promising stuff here. This, uh, this view is like being on vacation, except you're seeing a concert. It's pretty cool. The air show is amazing. Thank y'all so much. I don't know if all the concerts have air shows, but the air show tonight was absolutely amazing. With the smoke against the sunset, it looked like scenes straight out of Top Gun. So most of the seating here is going to be on a gentle sloping hill, so make sure to bring a blanket to sit on, and make sure you read the rules on what you can bring in. Oh, and if you have any disabilities, I'd probably stay at home for now. There's a lot of mulch, rock, and other obstacles that you would have to get around. good, there's no lines for concessions. The bad, there was no lines because nobody could afford anything. The good, lots of porta potties and they were clean. The bad, you won't even need to use them because the beer is so expensive. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something that you're searching for? I'm falling. And in the good times, I found myself long for change. And in the bad times, I fear myself. Tell me something more. Good times I find myself alone for change. 
After the show, there were some great fireworks. Definitely good. But then you start the long, arduous process of getting home. Hey Siri, where's our car? We waited two hours to get on the bus to get back to our parking. Then we had to wait in another line to get out of the parking lot. The concert was over about 10 and we got back to Springfield at 1.30. It was about an 11 hour day. So was it worth it? Well, that's up to you. I know a lot of people that will never go back. Uh, I had a blast. I will definitely go back once they figure out all these uh, problems, mainly the parking problems. Trying to get 25,000 people in and out of there off the highway is it's crazy. But it's a great venue, Con sounded great. The air show was amazing. And I mean, it was, it was a really good time. Uh, I just feel bad for the people that didn't even make it in to see the concert. My biggest piece of advice is probably to get there super early, like stupid early and have a very, very patient attitude. Uh, then you'll do all right. It'll still take several hours, but hopefully they get it all figured out because it was an awesome venue. The concert was awesome. Garth was awesome. And the air show was amazing. So I hope they figure it out. Hope this was uh, useful for somebody. And make sure to check out our recommended playlist. We do lots of hiking, biking, camping, scuba diving, some skydiving and bungee jumping, and some off-roading. Until then, I'll see you next time, and let's go do some stuff. Yeah.